last photo on my phone is soldiers on their stand. And uh, really it's patriotic, really. I mean, it's, well, it's got to be somewhere near 24 degrees today and they're still standing there in all their gear. It's pretty amazing. Well, obviously I'm quite patriotic. I've got Winston Churchill, uh, St Paul's Cathedral, uh, the, the soldier running through the poppies, with the less we forget, my Spitfire. I've got a birthmark. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. it's Britain. That's my birthmark. I think it could be. Oh my God, it's a penis. <laughs> you have to, have to share it. I can't, oh, it's actually a penis though. And a boy from Australia sent it to me. Um, he's coming over in two weeks to visit me and I think he was drunk and he sent me a cock photo. Are you still planning on seeing him? I think so, but he's got quite a big cock, so... <laughs> uh, last photo on my phone... You can check it, you? ...is, no, it's... Uh, I was in Prague and I had took a ride on Segway. Uh, we'd just come out of the Hard Rock Cafe I was half drunk at the time, but in mind. <laughs> I had to sign uh, a waiver um, to say that I wouldn't damage the Segway. And they took me round and I was fine until we went down, um, down the curb and I panicked and I jumped off the Segway and the Segway went off into the road by itself. But apart from that, everything was okay. It was about taking my granddaughter to an activities day over a local fair. Did it do me any good? No. <laughs> no, it did really. It just, it just made it. I got to get fit. The government secret thing was to get the, to get the adults involved, so the national health bill comes down. <laughs> That's the underlining story, and I know that. <laughs> Quite recently, I had um motorcycle accident that's why I have the scar on my face and um, I'm also quite conscious about that I used to wear sunglasses I've got in my bag I used to have it on because a lot of people used to look and I used to be very self-conscious about that but now I'm just kind of taking it off and I've just kind of just said whatever and just get on with it. I um, totally hate all forms of technology I don't have a television I don't have a screen in my life I'm going to the grave not long now and I hope I'll never know the difference between a commuter and a computer, a blog and a frog, an iPod and a tripod and a gooseberry and a raspberry. That's my ambition. So I have no computer, and if I did, I wouldn't sure I wouldn't have any photographs of it. Oh yeah, it was of my graduation. Yeah, um, I graduated about a week and a half ago. I feel free. Like, there's a world of possibilities out there. What's the worst thing that can happen? You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get fired from my job. I'm not going to die. I know for a fact, if you work hard at whatever you want to do, if I wanted to turn around and become a professional bungee jumper tomorrow, I'm going to do that if it takes me 15 years, because I can. Ah!